So a lot of students ask me the question. I'm an actor. I'm a producer. I'm an animator. Why do I? Why do I need to study poetry? If we could look back, you know, across human cultural history, we see that these ancient poems have proven themselves to be worthy of study by people even thousands of years later, which is a remarkable thing. We would all love to think that something that we make today is still going to be of interest to somebody in the year 4,000 or 5,000. And most of the time we know that's not the case, but there was something about those ancient poems that really caught the imagination not only of the people first hearing it, but also of successive generations. So that's a remarkable achievement on the part of those ancient poets, but it also speaks to the enduring power of poetry. They're writing about things in the way that they talked then, that still influence our lives today and are still parts of our lives. I had thought that poetry was kind of a riddle, but poems are not meant to be solved. They're not riddles. You're supposed to have a conversation with the poet, and the poet's opening himself up to the reader. As an actor, it gives me a lot more respect for the words in a script that the author puts down, because it's not just putting words down on a page. You have to keep all of the, the syllable counts and the stresses and the unstresses and the rhyme and the meter and all of it, you, you have to maneuver it so it lends to the deeper meaning of your poem. I was able to learn a lot about how my own thought process works, um, especially kind of creatively with poetry. It clarifies, I think, and it makes more precise the ideas more so than the words, um, because the ideas come before the words. And so the ideas, the clearer they are, the better your words are going to be. So if a student says, why do I have to study poetry? I would say, do you want to be a great artist? And great artists over time have always said, I want to know more about the world. I want to know more about people. I want to know more about these other kinds of beauty that exist in the world. And so when we study poetry, we're encountering beauty. We're encountering a human engaging with what it is to be a human being. It's just the most natural thing in the world if we're artists to be curious about the world, to have that openness to finding out what other great minds have done. But at the same time, I would also say that one of the importances of poetry is that it comes out of this deep awareness of the integration of religious faith and also of a pursuit of beauty. We find in poetry this richness of spiritual life. And so through all of that, we can find ourselves as Christians inspired not only to follow Christ in a better way, but also to recognize that through uh, there are pursuit of beauty. We, in fact, can be honoring him. We can be giving him great glory through whatever it is that we're called to make using our gifts. And again, poetry is a way that many people have done that, but there are all sorts of other media in which we can work where we can also give God glory.